So, <sighs> second wall, guys. I am super excited. Look at that. There's a wall that goes all the way around. Good morning, everybody. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a busy day. I got a lot going on. We're just gonna start out right now. I'm going down to uh, go set up this trail camera that I got a while back that I need to do a review on. And then I got this full of corn. And we're gonna come down here where Dutch left his feeder because I know that there are deer uh, over here in the area because I've seen them before. I just haven't seen them in a while. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, corn out and I'm gonna test out this trail camera. And then, like I said before, I wanna give the trail camera away to somebody so I want to test this out and see how good it is I tested it a little bit before on catching a possum I think I got that on there if I turned it on I don't remember for sure so I'm gonna come down here I'm gonna set up this trail camera and I'm not gonna do the full review on it yet I'll do that probably tomorrow if I catch anything on the trail camera which I'm hoping that I do so let's go ahead and set this up and then we will kind of see what comes around here. I do know the last time I saw about six deer, so it's not too far from my property or from my uh, house up there on the hill. So we're gonna go ahead and set up this camera somewhere, probably on that tree up there, so you can see down and everything, see them all in here. So let's do that real quick. All right, so I got the uh, trail camera set up here. I put a stick on it just to kind of hold it down a little bit this way and then uh, turn it on. It, this one does have a screen on it. My other one does not have a screen. You can't watch anything on there. So it's pretty, pretty cool. Uh, let me see. I don't know if you can see any of the uh, footage on here or not. Let's, let's find out. Come in and get in the camera. So I got the uh, trail cam there. And I got corn and stuff down there. And as I was down here right now, I don't know for sure, but I think this might be some buck rub over here, potentially. I'll let you guys uh, comment on this if you think it's uh, buck rub or not, if I don't fall. So the uh, feeder is just right over there. And check this out. What do y'all think? Buck rub? Yes or no? So, if it is, pretty good signs. I know, of course, down there at the bottom of the hill, there are a lot of little trails and stuff. I ain't going down there right now. I do not have the energy for that. I got other stuff to do. But maybe later I'll do that. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get back up there, start working, and then we'll check back on the trail camera later uh, today if the corn's gone. If not, tomorrow. So let's go get busy on the stuff up there. All right, guys, so we're back on this build. And as you guys know, I am a big believer in everything happens for a reason. So I thought about it and I thought about it and I try not to trip over this wood. I think I built it 10 feet for a reason. Here's why, this is why I'm gonna keep it 10 foot and I'm not gonna cut it shorter. So I do want lofts on both sides, correct? Yes, we get that. One thing that I have an idea on how to do it, but I know the correct way to do it. And whenever I put my wall up 10 foot, it's gonna butt up there. And then I could put my top plate on top of that from that side coming this way to lock it in. That's how you're supposed to do it. And if I would have kept it eight foot or gone down to eight foot, it'd be lower and I'd have to connect it a different way. So I don't even wanna take that risk. So what I'm gonna do is keep it 10 foot, just know that everything happens for a reason. And there's a reason why I did this. I can still do the lofts because what I'm gonna do is, so the uh, front porch and back porch will still be lower. So when I build the, uh, the I guess, roof or whatever you wanna call it underneath the porch coming up, it'll still be eight feet. So I will put them into the studs going this way, going that way, whatever, you get the idea. But the top plate would be good. You'll have to crawl over and then that'll basically give me a two foot wall on the top up here that whenever you go up, 
you don't actually see the bed and all that from down below. You have to crawl up over that and then that gives it a lip instead of having to do a railing and all that. I could even just keep it um, like that up there and kind of make it railing if I really want to, it doesn't really matter. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and put the swall up. So let's get it done. Alright, so as you can tell, I got a pipe clamp and I got it, look at that, all the way flush. Go ahead and toenail this in, keep it in there. Yep, just screws for now. We'll go back with some nails. So I'm just gonna put a few screws in the bottom. I'm not gonna toenail it all in right now because I need to do the other side of the wall on that side. And then I'll put my bracing or the top plate all the way across. And then I just make sure it's all straight and then I'll go back and do it. I'm sure you can go ahead and do it all, but I wanna make sure it's nice and squared. I squared it up over here, it's good, but I wanna make sure that I've done everything properly and it stays good on that side. That'll hold for now. I can't lie, I'm already pretty tired.
All right, guys, so just like life and how life goes, the hammer broke. Look at that. Fiberglass hammer, and it, uh, it broke. So I'm not too upset about it because I found this hammer when we bought the property four years ago, five years ago. I don't even know how long ago it was. Whenever we bought the property that uh, Jared has and we built the house there, I actually found it there. And so uh, I've used it and it was found outside so it was already a little beat up. <sighs> Good thing I have another hammer. All right, so what do y'all think guys? I got a whole wall and yes that top plate. Well first off. Yes Super sketchy standing on like a six-foot ladder doing ten-foot walls Now you know why I fall off, but whatever I'll get a bigger ladder But the top plate of course I have it to where it crosses over on that wall over there I cut the top piece off so it's connected there and then it's connected at the bottom all the way and then uh, of course I still got that four foot section right there because I got to put the other wall in but it's connected all the way across the top all the way across the bottom and then I put this big board right here holding it up but look at this guys this is pretty uh, beefed up pretty beefed up 
pretty beefed up and then over here in the corners really beefed up so this thing is going to be super solid i know it's overkill the reason i had to do this was because i needed a window right there and i can't just leave like one little gap and then i could have filled in that gap right there but i'm not too worried about it and then the door i needed it to be really strong where the door was at and then this is going to be where the uh the beam goes all the way up holding the uh the uh, roof up so I wanted to make sure that it was super super strong so I didn't mind spending just a little more money and kind of going a little overkill this is a really small house I'm already not too worried about it and I did two by sixes but I went ahead and uh, did it overkill on that side overkill and then overkill that way I don't have a problem and then honestly I'm gonna come back right here in the middle and I'll probably fill in this gap right here keep it super steady in the middle I know a lot of you gonna say it's overkill I don't need it I don't care that's just the way I do things is uh, I'm just gonna do it a little bit bigger and better you know overkill than I need to because I don't really know what I'm doing as far as building and all that type of stuff so if I make it a little bit stronger I have a better chance of it staying up so <sighs> second wall guys I am super excited look at that there's a wall that goes all the way around. But if you didn't know by now, this is gonna be my kitchen area over here. That way I can look out and see the animals over there. This will be the uh, sink and stuff. And then right here, it's gonna be a window that slides open. That way on the outside, the back patio, I'm gonna do uh, some seating. That way if you're in the kitchen, you can hand some stuff out. Kind of like what we did at uh, Jared's. He hasn't built the back. Uh, a little deck area yet but that's the plan and then of course you got a door right here and then a window i'm going to put like a little uh desk over there in the corner so i can still look out plus whenever you're, you're over here at the um, front of the building it's almost all glass so you can see all the way out it opens it up it makes it a little bit bigger that's why i want windows all the way around the sucker and yes i'm gonna have an overhang but it's going to let in a lot of light and I want it to feel as open as possible. So guys, thanks for watching. Notifications, that's you guys hitting me up saying, where is the video? It's coming out. So guys, thanks so much for watching. Second wall is up. It kicked my butt. Then I'm going to start on this wall and then I'm going to do the front wall. And if you're wondering why I didn't do the front wall first is because you got to bring lumber in. You don't want it in the way. I know some of you had asked before, like, why don't you just start here in the front? It just doesn't make sense in my mind to do that so guys thanks for watching and subscribing appreciate all your support all your love all your feedback all your good comments all your bad comments everything i appreciate it all and i love you guys so thanks for watching i'll see y'all tomorrow on coffee the crockers if you don't know that's my side channel coffee the crockers i just get on there and talk more than i do on this channel so see y'all guys in the morning